First, let me explain the basis of this method. There are two ways to place an image in a drawing. The first method is the OLE object. Then the image is included in the DWG file. The advantage of this is that you don't need to supply an extra file, but the disadvantage is that it increases the file size. The second is XREF data. To define this you can even drag the file into the drawing. In this case, the file size will not be increased, but the image will be delivered with the DWG file. If the image has been inserted in one way or another, check the units of the drawing. Now I choose millimeters. You can't set object snap within the image, so try to measure as accurately as possible. Now measure as many as you see in the image. Now the image and its scaling are scaled to the value shown in the image. Select the objects. Choose the scale command. Select the scaling start point. Choose the reference option. Select the starting point of the object you want to scale. Select the second point, then drag it to the size you want. On the third click, the desired dimensions will be the scaled objects. Once again a little differently. Select the objects. Choose the scale command. Select the start point, then press R. Select the first and second point of the object you want to scale. And specify the value to which you want to scale the objects. Check the other dimension. As it is not possible to assign object snap to the content of the images, all variations are possible. You can adjust the precision of the dimensions. See what it looks like with Google Earth. If the navigation is not ordered, with a double click on the end, the map can be ordered again. Select Tools and then Ruler. Select the unit of measurement you want to use in AutoCAD. Draw as long a line as possible. It's better if it's horizontal. Save this line so that it will appear in the image. Select File, Save and Save Image. You can choose from several image sizes. The larger the image size, the more accurately you can scale, but the larger the file size. You can also add a comment to the image. and you have additional configuration options. Now I choose a high resolution image. The save line data can be checked later.
We have a line of 800 meters. Back to AutoCAD. Set the units of measurement of the drawing to what you have set in Google Earth. In this case, the meter. You can also optionally set the precision. Now you can work the image into the drawing. Find the line in the image and create a dimension for it. This step can be skipped. Select the objects. Click on the start point, then press R. Click to the start point and then to the end point. And now enter the real length of the line which in this case is 800. The image is now to scale to the drawing unit. Check it. Of course an embedded image is never as accurate as a CAD drawing, but it can save a lot of work. Embedding a Google Earth image in AutoCAD provides the advantage of visual context, allowing users to reference real-world data and locations within their CAD drawings. This integration streamlines the design process, enabling better spatial understanding and more accurate geospatial positioning for various projects. Thanks for watching 